All right, everybody, what is going on? It's a little gloomy here in California. It's probably gonna rain tonight. But besides that, just a brief little message to the angry vegans lashing out against me. You know, I'm not gonna sit around all day and respond to your comments. And that's why a large majority of you guys, I haven't responded. I have things to do with my life. Some of you guys claim to hate me. You think I'm some demonic person now and you know, you're saying all your bullshit, yet you're keeping my analytics up for the month, you're watching my videos, you're leaving comments, you're actually helping me with the YouTube algorithm. So I actually really appreciate that. You know, the controversy of me switching my diet has generated a lot of views on my channel, so I'm thankful for that. And I'm, again, I'm very thankful for the unstable, emotionally unbalanced, hangry people leaving these death threats on my channel saying all this very weak shit i mean come on get a grip say your piece and move along i think it's really weird that a lot of you guys keep coming around my channel staying in the comments watching my videos yet you disagree with me you say all this stuff about me yet you're watching my videos that's true weakness at its core if you believe in the power of your diet if you be believe in the power of your moral philosophy, go out into the world and share it. Create something, create a platform, preach it, help people. Sitting around in your mother's basement, behind a screen, leaving hate comments on people's videos, it's the epitome of weakness. And I understand why you're mad. You think that I've committed the greatest sin that there is taking life from animals yet you're unwilling to see how your very diet causes the same thing but because you don't have a corpse on your plate when you're eating you can't put two and two together and realize what's actually you know what happened to create your fruit meal or your grains your beans and all the other shit that you eat and I'm not against a vegan diet if you've paid attention and a lot of you haven't, you just wanted to react emotionally, you would have realized that I said, and I have said a million times, that I believe the vegan diet, if done properly, can be one of the greatest detox diets, one of the greatest elimination diets that there is. But so many of you guys lack context. You're not seeing between the lines. You, you think everything's black and white. You're not seeing that I said those things. And I've crunched the numbers. The way I'm eating now is causing less harm than the way I was eating prior. So don't try to tell me I'm not, you know, I'm some bad person. Because there's a good chance what goes on to your plate every day caused a whole lot of death too. A lot of you guys are lying about what you eat. A lot of you guys are eating fake meat and soy products, genetically engineered foods. A lot of you guys aren't eating completely organic. And most of you guys aren't raising your own food at your house or on your property. So don't try to tell me you don't support big agriculture. Don't try to tell me that that's that you don't do that. And we know undeniably that the way crops are raised here in the matrix it causes massive amounts of death. Whether you're a carnivore, whether you're an omnivore, whether you're a vegan, whether you're a vegetarian, whether you're a raw foodist, whether you're a raw primal, you are causing some type of suffering and death get it through your head and once you do get it through your head do your best to create the least amount of harm possible but you vegans are so blinded not all of you but many of you are so blinded by your dogma the cult that you can't see that someone who does eat animals if they do it properly they can cause less death than someone who doesn't because you don't factor into the picture pesticides, the herbicides, the fungicides, the larvicides, what that, what that does to the soils, what that does to the animals, what that does to the ecosystem. You don't take into account, ladies and gentlemen, all the lives lost in the combine harvesters, the wheat threshers. They have people setting traps, hundreds of traps on the typical farm to catch invasive species so that they don't eat your celery and your crops. You, you just don't get it. You don't get it and don't act like you don't support this shit. Everybody does. 
Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. So when you go to the store and you buy your produce, you don't see the rabbits and the, you know, all the animals that were killed or trapped and maimed and shot. You don't see the decimation of the plots of land to set up your, your fields, etc. So that monocropped agriculture can come into the picture. And we know that when you start monocropping things, that's when the pesticides come in. Things don't grow like that naturally in nature. And when you grow things artificially like that in rows, you have to bring in the chemicals, the additives, the synthetics. You have to bring into the picture the pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, larvicides, insecticides. And I know that factory farming in the production of grain or the growing of grain to feed factory farmed animals is a huge impact on the environment and that's why I don't support it. That's exactly why I don't support it. See, you don't see behind the, the, the screen, you don't see what I've done to do my best to lower the amount of damage I'm doing to the environment. You just think that because I'm no longer, I don't have a vegan badge anymore, that I'm just this horrible person and that's fine. But if you're that shallow, I'm happy with you not being on my channel. I'm very happy. If you're not able to read between the lines, you lack the ability to see through the illusions. So I'm glad you're not on the channel, but you are, and you're actually keeping my channel analytics up. My view, my channel, the views are up big time. Thank you. The comments, all the hate, you name it. Big time spike in my views, my comments, you name it. Beautiful. Thank you. You see, if I hated something or if I didn't like something or if I disagreed with it, I would probably say my piece and move on. I wouldn't keep coming back and leaving comments on someone's channel. And that's why this is gonna be my last message to you guys, because I'm not gonna keep doing this. I've made maybe three or four videos where I've lightly responded to some of the things you guys are saying, but I don't have time to keep doing it. But I do feel that it's appropriate that I at least leave, or not leave, but you know, make one more kind of message to you guys. You're hypocrites. You're gigantic hypocrites. And I know because I used to be like you. And I'm not pointing my finger at all ve vegans, excuse me, in any way, shape, or form. But if you think that you don't cause the death of animals through your diet, you are a fool. An absolute fool. And sometime in the future, as things come into the, you know, things continue to come out into the into the light, you might be able to see what I was lucky enough to see. I was able to see through the illusion of my dogma. One person can live on one cow for over a year. If they eat nose to tail, if they eat all the organs, you name it. One life lost for an entire year of nourishment. And if that's all you ate, you'd be zero carb, you'd be go, going into ketosis, depending on how much protein you were eating. That has a handful of benefits as well. When you're driven into autophagy or autophagy, the body's self-recycling system, this is what fasting does. Ketosis, it mirrors and mimics fasting. It's not exactly the same, but it's very similar. If you can keep the ketones, if you can start burning ketones for fuel with the right foods, you're an idiot. If you think that you've just made it to the winning team because you're a vegan, it doesn't just start there or end there. It doesn't just start and end there. I'm not trying to point any fingers here or, and I'm not judging people. I'm reacting to the people who in their ignorant state or view want to look at me and just think that I'm the epitome of all, of all the world's problems because I'm eating animal products? No. In fact, a lot of you guys eat a lot of shit, a lot of waste, industrial waste. You're eating fruits and vegetables filled full of chlorine and hexafluorosilicic acid and all the other garbage. So get real. I'm doing my best to support local farms, ranchers, 
local bee hi uh, beekeepers. This is how we were designed to live. We're not supposed to. We're not designed to buy our food from the supermarket. That's a slave diet, a slop diet. Get real. This is my last message to you vegans. This is my comment that I will copy and paste to any of your hate bullshit. Listen closely and go do something with your life. If you believe in the power of your message, do something. So many of you guys just want to leave these hate comments, but you're not even producing any content. You don't even have a channel. You're in your mom's basement. You're a gamma male. And a lot of the stuff that you say to me, I don't think you would say to me to my face. Peace out.